Hi there, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back for another grocery haul from Sam's Club. So we shop once a month for my family of four. I've really enjoyed not going to the grocery store this month. And it really came in handy with a snowstorm when we couldn't go to the grocery store for like a week and a half because we were snowed in. So um, it's definitely come in handy. We still have a lot of stuff left over from last month as far as like the convenience of foods and stuff that we bought. So we didn't add a whole lot of that this time. But I'll just show you what we got. We did end up spending about $385, which is a little less than we did last month. Uh, we will have to go back for meat because they're pretty much out. So we'll have to go back for a couple things and get some fresh fruits and stuff um, mid-month and some more lettuce and stuff. But let's just take a peek at what we got. What? First thing we bought is this landscape fabric. It was $28. We've been buying a roll every time we go to Sam's just to kind of spread it out instead of spending like a whole bunch of money at once. But we're going to end up putting it out there in our new gardening space. I got three gallons of vitamin D milk. This is for our baby goats. We feed them cow's milk. You can do that. <laughs> and it's much cheaper than goat milk. Um, they're enjoying it and they're growing their cheese almost two weeks old now so we got them some milk of course that won't last the whole month but we got what we could while we were there they had a limit on it last month we got some non bread and made like pizzas and flatbreads and we really enjoyed that but of course they were out of it this time so we ended up getting these uh, pita pockets which Jay really enjoys anyway with like tuna sandwiches and stuff uh, to stuff these so I got these and we'll use them for pizzas and pita pockets for sandwiches we got another oh hello we got another batch of the cotton candy grapes <laughs> they're so good they're expensive though because they're ten dollars but but they're so good we got some mini red peppers sometimes they have these sometimes they don't but I'm gonna be putting these in my breakfast burritos for the month we've almost eaten through those I made quite a few but I'm gonna make some more and um, we just like peppers in some of our stuff so we have green pepper frozen in the freezer but of course we wanted some red and yellow too just to add a little more flavor got some more portobello mushrooms these are super cheap and a really good filler for a lot of meals um, but I like them with like teriyaki chicken and stir fry and fried rice and meatballs I love mushrooms. Got another pack of baby carrots because we threw down on the last pack. So we had to get some more of those. For snacking, we got some Baby Bell cheese. Kids love those. And I also got some Laughing Cow because we got these chips last time. Or they're um, baked crackers. So we got these gluten-free baked crackers. They are so, so good. If you have a Sam's Club near you, try these because they're really good. They're especially good with a little Laughing Cow cheese. So good. And the Laughing Cow cheese for three of these is only $4.59. I've been paying $4.59 for one and I have three. So hopefully those will last quite a long time in the fridge. But yeah, these gluten-free crackers are delicious. Well worth it. I got um, another block of Colby Jack cheese. That'll go into our breakfast burritos, tacos, all that good stuff. I prefer to shred my own cheese. I think it just tastes better like that. And it's really hard to get that uh, pre-shredded cheese out of anything. For some reason it like gums up everything. Right dishes man? Jay does the dishes so he told me to quit buying the pre-shredded cheese. <laughs> uh, we got A1 for a year. For real like it's gonna take me forever to eat that but we were out so I was like well we might as well get it. I may give one to my dad. Maybe he can help me out. <laughs> no. He's too weird. <laughs> we got a box of sweet corn cans. We're almost out. Uh, we bought one earlier, or we bought one at the end of last year, and uh, I think we have like a few more cans left. That's something I'm gonna try to be more mindful about is what kind of canned vegetables we're buying. 
because that's what I want to focus on growing and making our own this year so got that on my mind especially with even the the red peppers and stuff and the carrots and trying to be mindful of that so we can grow more of that and save it so we don't have to buy it also got green beans Laundry man, too. Jay got some of these um, muscle milk. They're non-dairy, so they don't hurt his belly. And this is what he has when um, he just needs a little something extra. Like maybe my lunch I made him wasn't, wasn't enough or whatever. So that's what he has for that. Two loaves of bread did fine for us last month. So we got two loaves of bread. Uh, these will go directly in the freezer because I think we have a little bit left over, but I made some bread this month. Um, so it worked out just having two of the store-bought breads. So these will go right in the freezer. Got six heads of lettuce. Uh, we do like the lettuce that they have at Sam's and they, we go through these really fast. We should be making like growing our own, but we're not right now, but it's definitely on the list. So this was kind of an impulse buy. It wasn't really on my list but I looked at them and I had to have them and they weren't cheap but I got some of these oh snap snacking pickles pick these up somewhere I don't even know where we were at but I needed like a quick snack so I went in and got some pickles these are so good they're so good um but these are just the dilly bites oh snaps it's like little individual ones there's 12 in here uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep them in the fridge and eat them when I want them. But they're crispy and salty and delicious. Did buy a salt and pepper for my brother, so that was included, and we also bought one for us. They do have these grinders. They have the peppercorn medley and the black uh, pepper. We got black pepper for us, and my brother wanted the medley. And then I got two of these Himalayan sea salt. This is our preferred salt. It's really, really good. So, and good for you. We grabbed another big seasoning of granulated onion powder. So we won't have to buy that for a while. And we also got the kids more of their Ollie brand kids multivitamin and probiotic because they're almost out. So it lasts a little over a month. So next month we may not even have to buy it at all. We'll see. I let Ollie pick out something that he wants and he got Chex Mix, so it is what it is. He's sick of the um, goldfish, so he got Chex Mix. We got more coffee. The Pike's Place roast is what we like. The Starbucks, they have the big bag there and this lasts us an entire month somehow. We've been out of syrup for a while, but they have the maple syrup there. But they have this organic maple syrup at Sam's Club and we really like it. We've been out for a while so I decided to go ahead and get some. We got two bags of organic cane sugar. We just got some reserve because we were out almost. So the wholesome brand um, cane sugar is what we like. It's kind of the more raw stuff um, but that's what we prefer to use. We did get more frozen pizzas. Uh, I went out of town and so a lot of those got eaten up. <laughs> So we got some more to restock the freezer. I'm just gonna take you down here because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick up these potatoes and onions. We got some yellow potatoes. Another thing we'll be growing ourselves. Yellow onions. We did grow onions last year, but it only lasted us a few months, so we're definitely gonna be putting more in the ground this year. It's another one of my three milks there. I got another four pack of broccoli florets. These are in the frozen section, they're really good. They didn't have much meat, but they did have this in the freezer section. It's um, grass-fed and finished ground beef. It's $20 for a four pack, so about $5 a pound. Jay ate all the popcorn shrimp. I think he finished the last off today. He really liked them, so we got some more of those. Our normal million pounds of bacon. No, really, it's uh, four pounds per pack. And we got two packs. And we also got chicken breasts. This was all they had, um, so that's what we bought. And I'll take these apart and repackage them how we would eat them. So probably just two breasts per pack. So the, this meat is all we have, and it probably won't last us 
the entire month unless we go into our backup in the freezer, which we could do. I'll show you the current state of my freezer. I haven't organized it really. I haven't organized it well anyway, but also we've eaten quite a bit out of it since we ate a whole month's worth of food out of here, but we're running a little low. So this is where I keep my breakfast meats, like sausage and bacon. And we've got a few more pounds of venison bacon. Oh, er, we got a few more pounds of venison sausage. Some of it's in the wrong spot. Jay put some out here. And um, one of the prepackaged stuff. So we have no bacon in there. Oh, we got a little bacon. But that's where I keep my breakfast meats. And then, this isn't supposed to be in here. This is where I keep all of our raw meat. As you can see, we are running really low. We got four pounds of ground beef and a pound of Italian sausage. Down here I do have all the goodies, like pork tenderloin from wild pig and uh, venison and stuff like that. But I like to save that for special occasions because we usually only take one deer a year and it's, we haven't been catching hogs lately. So that's what we got. I'll probably take some of these boxes out of here. We haven't even dug into the egg rolls yet. We've got like barely any left in here. So I'll just combine those. It's so unorganized. Oh, I do have chicken breast. Look at that. But anyway, my breakfast meats are supposed to go there. This is all of our leftovers and like freezer meals and stuff so we can grab them quick. This full of butter, but once again, they didn't have salted butter, so I just didn't buy it. Um, got some little Smokies here and hot dogs and lunch meats. These are really nasty. So I'm gonna try to find somebody that actually likes them to give them to because I didn't love, I didn't like them. Um, I didn't like any of those, so I don't know if I just didn't cook it right or what, but those aren't my thing. Um, and we got some convenience foods here, like some breakfast, like pancakes on a stick and breakfast sandwiches for emergencies. And ice cream. And I put all my nuts in here because I didn't have much room in the freezer. And all the ice cream stuff's supposed to be up here. We do still have some of our chicken tenders left over, so we didn't buy those again. Um, they were okay. They're not, they're not like our favorite. But like I said, we still have all the pork egg rolls. Um, have some tortillas left over. I'll restock this. This is usually where I keep all my vegetables and uh, sides. So, oh, this bin is all frozen fruit. That whole thing. Whether it's like, uh, this is already juiced, so I just need to make it out, jelly out of it. And this is... Um, Berries. I don't know if those are bad. I'm still gonna try to make jelly out of them. And then we got blueberries and mangoes and all that stuff. So I need to start like really making some smoothies because that's a lot of frozen fruit. Still have some zucchini shredded. My greens that are already cooked, ready to go. And these are my prepped meals. We've got my egg bites right here and right here. See, I got this a little unorganized because we got some chicken tenders, some onion rings, <laughs> some weird stuff back there. So I got some organizing to do, but in this bin, I usually keep my cheese that I'm going to freeze. And then I've got, you know, some head wraps and stuff for my migraines. So I know exactly where to tell Jay they are. More tortillas. Those are corn. More hot dogs. We'll probably feed those to the dogs because, um, we got a ton of them and these look like they might be freezer burn. Up here's where we keep our bread and our buns. We got more ice cream. Gracious, you people. It's my chicky wings that we hadn't gotten to yet. See more frozen bread. I don't know if that's good anymore. And there's peaches that we were supposed to give to the chickens and we haven't. But I got this uh, these ribs sticking up here because I don't have anywhere else that they will go. All in all, we got a lot more room to stuff things. I do need to organize this at some point. And when I do, I'll make a video out of it, cause why not? <laughs> but right now it's not very organized. I've got stuff in general spots, but nothing labeled like I would like it to be so everybody can find it. I wanna thank you so much for watching today and checking out our grocery haul. And if you have any good ideas for storing things in the freezer or organizing a freezer, let me know down below. I can't wait to chat with you there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.